This is what Fortnite could look like in a few months, and no, I'm not joking. Let me explain. So Epic has been planning something that will literally change the gaming industry forever. Listen to these words carefully. We're finding more and more that our goal is to try to create a metaverse, to create a place, right, where, where all IP can live together, where all kinds of experiences can happen, where we can create a, a thing that is totally new, a totally new emergent type of of media. It's been right under our noses this entire time and I'm really shocked that nobody has been talking about this. Today we're going to be talking about the release of modding into Fortnite or what's better known as Creative 2.0. Now wait before you click off I guarantee that 99% of you guys don't really understand the changes and the innovation that this will have not only on Fortnite but the gaming industry as a whole. So that's what I'm going to explain in this video. As we all know by now modding is in a ton of games already and honestly it has done wonders for them. Most of the content nowadays on GTA and Minecraft all has to do with modding, keeping their games relevant for so long. However, in a game like Minecraft or GTA, sure you could download new character models or a cool custom car, however you can take it into online games, you have to download a ton of files and extract them into the game directory, it has its limits. Now enters Creative 2.0. Imagine a platform where anyone can create any game they'd like. We already sort of have this with Creative Mode, however this has a lot of limitations. You can only build with assets in the game, islands are too small, only UI you can use is the Fortnite UI, 50 player limit lobbies, and many other limitations. The updated version of Creative will essentially allow players to do everything they can do now but without the limits of Fortnite. Any user with a PC will be able to create and publish their very own game using the exact developing tools the developers at Epic and many other AAA studios use. Epic has also already started teasing us with the possible layout we would use to load into these games, making it so that the top played creative games are sectioned off into categories within the main game mode browsing catalog. Now imagine that each of these games are replaced with actual games that don't look like Fortnite at all. You could have a full-blown Jurassic Park game, GTA 6 because Rockstar refuses to make it, a racing game with cool custom cars, a first person shooter like Call of Duty or CSGO, the possibilities are endless. So how does this exactly pave the way for the entire gaming industry? Well, to put it simply, this is our first look into the metaverse. To sum it up, the metaverse is everything socially and digitally connected in one space. Your friends list will be the same for every game you decide to play, the same currency will be used for each individual game. For example, you could be playing a GTA 5 remake and get invited by one of your friends to play a map where you build roller coasters. No need to change platforms or buy different in-game currencies, everything you need is on on one platform. Epic Games CEO and founder Tim Sweeney said, it's no secret that Epic is investing into building the metaverse. The video game industry has been in a tense competition, even more tense than the billionaire space race, to see who can build the first metaverse. It's safe to say that in this race, Epic Games is a force to be reckoned with. Back in April of 2021, Epic Games announced it raised $1 billion through several investors, including Sony. All of this money will be used to allow the company to support the future growth of opportunities, more specifically the metaverse, and realize Tim Sweeney's dream of building connected social experiences. Experiences. Yet the most obvious signs of Fortnite's transition into the metaverse is the introduction of Fortnite Party Worlds. These maps are solely intended to be social spaces where players can meet friends and play minigames. Unlike the Fortnite we all know, the focus in these party worlds will be on friendship and self-expression, not battle royale combat. When looking at the big picture in terms of the entire gaming ecosystem, this is super small scale. All of these games will only be playable through Fortnite, as there's still a lot of work to do to achieve Tim Sweeney's ultimate goal of having the metaverse include everything gaming related. However, it is a huge step. As we all know, the battle royale genre has been going downhill for quite some time, so all of these changes will make Fortnite a platform game. The biggest platform game currently is Roblox, and I'm sure you can draw some similarities to what I'm talking about here. Roblox was released in 2006 and just beat out Minecraft this last month in popularity. But why is it still so popular? The answer is simple. User-generated content. The entire Roblox ecosystem relies on the users to make games and publish them on the platform for others to play. Roblox will literally never die because there are thousands of games to play due to people constantly making new games. Roblox gives everyone the same tools to create whatever they desire, whether it be GTA, a racing game, or a first-person shooter. You see what I'm getting at here? With Fortnite switching to user-generated content, it will never die. According to some leakers and data miners, players have already gotten a small taste of Creative 2.0 in Imposters mode. This limited time mode had its own set of quests for players to complete, and although they didn't offer a ton of XP upon completion, it was worth the play. Now while this mode is not 100% Creative 2.0, it still uses a ton of the tools and technology that we'll see in the next version of Creative. This means that with enough skill, players will be able to create a similarly complex game experience using Creative 2.0 in the future. So how will this beat out Roblox? Well, multiple reasons. Now on announcement, they mentioned that developers will have the ability to create real-time events in-game similar to how Fortnite does it. Imagine 100,000 people are playing a survival server and the creator decides to drag a massive meteor onto the map and destroy the world. Those 100,000 people would get to see and experience that in real time. Now second, Fortnite Creative 2.0 
now will be run on Unreal Engine 5, which is the industry standard, in contrast to Lua, which is what Roblox Studio runs on, meaning any texture, character, UI, etc. will make your game completely your own. You can either build these yourself or head over to a download page and browse a catalog of thousands of assets other people have created. So what does this look like in action? Epic Devs unveiled the new features in Unreal Engine's annual roundup stream, crafting a shrine to Kevin using the new tools that can be used to create different textures and geometry for objects. This demonstration showcased a good range of model and material editing options, plus a brief demonstration of Unreal's built-in particle editor Niagara, which was used by the developers to place a sparkly holographic globe over Kevin and then customize its look. And like I said, people will be able to import their very own assets and make the game look nothing like Fortnite at all. Now this is big news for creative map designers who often resort to bugs and glitches to get somewhat custom models into their maps. Additionally, Tim Sweeney explained that the team planned to bring a form of these controls to as many of Fortnite's supported platforms as possible, with the most advanced tools being available to PC players and limited versions to consoles. Epic's lead programming team also introduced a brand new programming language meant to not only simplify the creation process, but also to make the game run more efficiently. Lead programmer Tim Tillotson presented an example of a creative match a script in several key lines of code that have the ability to change a way a game is played. This new scripting language will allow players to change multiple parameters, including item and player count mid-match. Fortnite leakers also revealed the Creative 2.0 will support Blueprints, the visual scripting language used to create gameplay elements from within Unreal Editor. If this is true, Creative 2.0 is sure to be incredibly powerful. So where does this leave the original Battle Royale game mode we all know and love? Well, of course, Fortnite will still have its own Battle Royale genre. However, I do believe this will be overtaken by all the other user-generated games on the platform. While players shouldn't expect its core game mode to disappear anytime soon, the Battle Royale component is just one of many different flavors of Fortnite, as Epic has put significant effort into transforming the game into a large-scale social platform. So that begs the question, when can we exactly expect all of this to come out? Well, I actually have some insider information about this, okay? You can't tell anybody. It all started with a message from the man himself, Tim Sweeney. I was a bit confused, but then I clicked on it and I couldn't believe what I was reading. He just wanted to let me know that 70% of you guys aren't even subscribed. Nah, but for real, this is all rumored to come out sometime this summer. Now, I do have a clip of Tim Sweeney himself talking about how Creative 2.0 will end up coming out in 2022, which is this year. Check it out. Even though we can't do it all at once, we're gonna be making as many uh, threads of progress uh, towards this as we can. One of the things that happening in the next year, uh, we hope to do it this year, but uh, coming next year is opening up uh, the Unreal Editor tools um, and this new verse scripting language to the entire community to build Fortnite content. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, it's coming next year, which should be really, really interesting. I know he said that it would come last year. However, with the restrictions and everything going on in the world, of course, that couldn't really happen. But this time, I actually believe him. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know what your guys' thoughts in the comments are. Peace.